the dreams there that it can be just like a movie. Well, it's kind of what it was. Like there were some cutaway shots. I noticed that, you know, there was more funnel clouds coming about. You know, they were really skinny and and the, it occurred to me when I was watching this, I said to myself, is this the rapture? Because I know that from other rapture dreams that people have shared, that they've seen whirlwinds, tornadoes. And, and I know some scholars uh, believe, you know, that, that Elijah had gone on a whirlwind there in a fiery chariot. But, you know, that's kind of why came to that interpretation there, but next thing you know, like I'm in this house there. And, you know. God bless you brothers and sisters in Christ and welcome back to the Cloud9 Blessings YouTube channel. I truly hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week in the Lord. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today so that we can experience another powerful dream or vision that has been emailed into the channel. So many brothers and sisters in Christ from around the world are having such powerful, intense, and detailed experiences that they want to share. And I feel truly blessed by the Lord to be a vessel for him to share many of these experiences with all of you. In this video today, we are going to be looking at a rapture dream that was emailed in by our dear brother in Christ, Anthony. He said that the, he had this experience on March 14th of 2024 and wanted all of you to see what he has experienced. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look. Hello fellow watchmen and watchwomen, sisters in Christ. This is Watchmen 2023. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, just a submission, you know, regarding my second rapture dream. And uh, some of you probably already seen the previous videos, but this is more of a, a polished version. Uh, I hope this will serve as encouragement for everybody that may have a rapture vision or a dream. You know, don't withhold it. As, you know, God gave it to us for a reason, and it's not ours to withhold. So I think it's important there to, to get it out there as much as possible, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna start from the beginning. All right, so yeah. In this dream, I actually, um, you know, I was with my family. You know, we were we were together, and it's pretty rare when we do get together. But, you know, it was my parents and my brother, and you know, we were driving around in Tucson, and didn't know where we were going. But anyways, I'm I'm in the passenger side, and I'm looking out the window, and. You know, I'm taking a look at the sunsets there, like, and if you've ever been to Arizona, yeah, like, you know, they have gorgeous sunsets, and, you know, there are these big clouds, and I noticed that there was like a, yeah, there was like a cyclone, you know, in the, in the cloud there, and like, only it was still, and anyways, um, didn't think anything of it, but anyways, and suddenly we, we pulled over and I don't remember a lot what had happened, uh, you know, why we pulled over. But anyways, next thing you know, we're back on the road again and we're on the highway. And I noticed that there was funnel clouds. There was a funnel cloud. And, and, uh, and you know how in the dreams there that it can be just like a movie. Well... It's kind of what it was. Like there were some cutaway shots. I noticed that you know there was more funnel clouds coming about. 
you know, they were really skinny and and the, it occurred to me when I was watching this, I said to myself, is this the rapture? Because I know that from other rapture dreams that people have shared, that they've seen whirlwinds, tornadoes, and I know some scholars uh, believe, you know, that, that Elijah had gone on a whirlwind there in a fiery chariot. But, you know, that's kind of why I came to that interpretation there. But <clears throat> next thing you know, like, I'm in this house there, and you know, there's these two kids that, that I don't know. But anyways, I know some belongings of mine there that you know, so I started started packing that there, but those kids I I knew that even though I didn't wasn't watching them there, like I know they were in the na in the in the living room trying to you know, they were they were just watching, you know, like it's like they know but they don't care, which I if I had a guess, I think it's an interpretation of how the people are, because, you know, despite all the warnings we give, like, you know, we, you know, they don't seem to care, but, you know, at least they, you know, we could say that and we didn't warn them. But anyways, then I woke up. So, but it doesn't end there, though. As you know, as soon as I got up there, you know, you know, ever since I shared my last rapture dream, a rapture vision about the flying horse there, like, you know, just something to keep the watchmen and watchwomen going there while we're waiting on that appointed time where we're going to be be, uh, be going up pretty soon. But anyways, so after I... After I was done with the video, I, I come to work and in the hotel I work at, you know, I see on the news that there were tornadoes actually touching down, like eight of them, like, hmm. And, uh, and I was all like, wow. And I had a dream, you know, about funnel clouds there, like, and I knew right then that that was confirmation, but it didn't end there though. Where they were touching down, it was right in the path of where the eclipse on April 8th is actually gonna be going through. A lot of my fellow watchmen and watchwomen have been talking about this and that was no coincidence. I knew God was telling me that it's almost time to go. So that's why I put out that emergency update there, shown because you know that's how much urgency that I had, and I know we're definitely that close there. So I do want to encourage you all. If you have a vision, anything like that, definitely share it with somebody, anyone, no matter what they think there. Cause you know what, we're definitely running out of time. So I hope this has been a blessing and encouragement to y'all. And if I don't see you in the next video, I'll see you up there. May God bless. May God bless you too, brother Anthony. And thank you so much for sharing this warning dream with the channel family. Wow. I know you had mentioned that you had seen then on the news that there were tornadoes that were touching down and that this was in the way of the April 8th eclipse. Now, so many brothers and sisters in Christ have been sharing all throughout YouTube about seeing something happening on April 8th. Now, this could very well happen, and you may have had a glimpse of this in the pathway of the eclipse. 
Now, this is going to be something that is going to definitely be eye-opening for many people that are in the way of this eclipse as it is going through the United States. I do believe that it means something very intense. It is definitely a warning sign because that is not something that happens every few years. It is definitely rare, and I do believe that there is significance of this April 8th eclipse. Now, when you had mentioned about seeing them touch down, it also reminded me of many other brothers and sisters who are talking about seeing these type of funnel clouds and even, you know, tornadoes forming and they're looking at it and they're talking about feeling in their spirit that something big was about to happen. And I do believe that things like that signify warnings and we should all just be alert, be in the word of God and ask the Lord for his protection. Once you put your faith in him, the Lord will be sure to provide and protect you from all the wrath. Remember, it does say that in the Bible that he will keep us protected from the moment of wrath that will come upon the face of this earth. And the Lord is the only one that can save us from wrath. So it's all about putting our faith and trust in him right now, especially with everything that is happening throughout the world. There's so much chaos, so much turmoil. We're seeing the earthquakes. We're seeing the wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing the signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And we are also seeing Acts 2.17 being fulfilled, that people would have dreams and visions and prophesy in these end times. So please let this be as an encouragement also, because the Lord is coming so very soon, but he's giving a lot of these dreams as warnings to people to wake up. He wants everyone to come to him and to be saved. And that is where the gospel comes in. And that is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The Lord wants you to accept that free gift, but all you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. When you come to Christ, you have repented. It is a change of mind metanoia. You have decided that you want to walk the pathway with the Lord and you want to be with him for an eternity. Today is a day of salvation, and I truly pray that if you are not yet saved right now, that you will believe in the gospel and what the Lord has done for you because he loves you and he wants you to be with him for an eternity. So I truly want to thank you, Brother Anthony, for sharing this experience with the channel. It had me at, wow, this was truly an incredible and powerful experience that should definitely be shared. Our brother in Christ Anthony's YouTube channel information will be in the description box. So please head over there and subscribe. Please type in the comments box, Jesus is my savior. Please type Jesus is my savior because he is my savior. And I truly hope that he is your savior as well because he is the only one that can save us and take us out of this evil and wicked world that we live in. If you have been blessed by this channel ministry and can find it in your heart and would like to help and support the Cloud9 Blessings YouTube channel, it would be so greatly appreciated. All the donation information will be in the description box. There is also an Amazon wish list below of items that I need. So that would truly help me to be able to continue to make more videos for brothers and sisters in Christ. So I truly want to thank you brothers and sisters from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for watching the videos, for hitting the thumbs up because they help to recommend these videos to more brothers and sisters in Christ. So until next time, family, God bless you all and have a very blessed week.